Hello everyone, what's going on? This is going to be my solo armadillo guide. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to solo with the best gear that you can possibly have. There are a few things that you can upgrade, but so far this is the best gear that I've found that fits a normal price budget and works really well for soloing. Just keep in mind if you don't have the gear or stats that I have, you can still downgrade some items and I'll talk a little bit about that, but I would recommend to duo at least your first few times just to get the hang of killing armadillo before you try soloing if your gear and stats are much lower. So first of all, we're going to go into the setup. I'm on a Slayer task of Avian Seeds at the moment, so that's why I'm wearing a full Slayer Helm. If you're not on a task, I would recommend to either wear a Death Lotus Coif or an Armadillo Helm or a Pernix Cowl. Those all work pretty well. I also have a Max Cape. Um, if you don't have a Max Cape, I would recommend to wear a Skill Cape. And if you don't have a skill cape, wear like an Avis Accumulator. But a skill cape is better than an Avis Accumulator because it gives an all type armor bonus, which is always better than just a single type of armor bonus. So for the top and bottom, I have Superior Death Lotus. If you don't have Death Lotus, you can either swap that out for Pernix or Armadil or Royal Dehyde. Little known fact, Royal Dehyde and Armadil both have the exact same armor. So um, either one of them works pretty well for killing Armadil. And then I have dual chaotic crossbows. You can also wear a royal crossbow if you don't have these, um, or even a ascension crossbows if you have those. And royal bolts. I have glaven boots. These are the best boots for armadil for defensive bonuses. You can also wear pernix boots, um, or even you could also try wearing torva boots or some other melee kind of boot that will give really good range defense but you also need magic defense so I'd recommend wearing a range kind of boot and Glavens are the best for defense. Uh, for a ring I have a 6th age circuit from the World Awakes quest. You can also wear a ring of wealth or something like that if you want to improve your chances. And I have Pernix gloves because it's just really nice to have a Nyx item um, which means no monsters in the God Wars dungeon will attack you. And Pernix gloves work pretty well, so I'd recommend to wear those. Um, and an amulet of fury because it's the best all around amulet. And I have the penance aura, which is going to help me um, not have to use as many prayer potions. And in my inventory, I have six overload flasks, six prayer renewal flasks, uh, eight super restores, and nine sharks here. I have some teletabs to get out, which is helpful. A teleport there, an extra yak pouch. And in my yak, I just have more sharks and more super restores. So I just wanted to say, um, first of all, I realize that super restores are in flasks and I realize these are sharks and not rock tails but at my gear um, I would recommend to you don't have to bring anything better than this the thing is as soon as my armadil task is done I'm going to teleport out so I'm gonna use maybe a third of these supplies I will not use them all I figured I'd just bring them all both for the sake of this video and because I had the inventory space so I might as well so once you're ready just teleport to the Trollheim mountain and run to the God Wars dungeon if you are planning on staying for a really long trip, what I would recommend to do is swap out the sharks for rock tails, swap out the super restore potions for flasks, and also bring um, a couple unicorn pouches and unicorn scrolls for when you go through all your food so you can stay even longer. Alright, now we're in the armadillo area. You just kill avians, used to get kill count, and these do drop addy bars, so it adds to a little bit of profit. You can usually make about 100 to 150k just from your kill count. So I want you to pay close attention to my action bar. This is going to change once we actually get into Armadil. So this ability, the fragmentation shot, and this ability, the rapid fire, I would recommend to use during the kill count. The rest of my action bar you can copy. Um, I don't need anticipation. I don't need freedom. But everything else here I'm going to be using. But these two abilities are going to be swapped out when we go into Armadil, and I'll tell you which ones to replace um, when we get in. Also remember, if you're using a 2H crossbow and not a dual wield crossbow, um, use the Dazing Shot and not the Needle Strike, because the Needle Strike you can only use with a 2H crossbow. So as soon as I get kill count, I'll be heading on in, showing you guys which action bar to use, and showing you guys the basic strategy for killing Armadil. Okay, now that I have 40 kill count, it's time to head into Arma. And just price checking these Addy bars here, I only got 28, but you can expect more around 40 Addy bars or so, which will be around 150 to 200k, depending on how much they're worth at the moment. But uh, yeah, once you have the 40 kill count, just head on in, and it looks like there's nobody on this world, so that's good. So for the strategy we're going to be using, you cannot use an instanced world. 
This wouldn't work if Armadillo was really crowded, but most of the time it's not. At peak times, sometimes there will be quite a few worlds with people on them, but I have never been here where I wasn't able to find at least a couple worlds to quick hop to. We're going to be using a quick hop strategy, and I'll explain that once we actually get into Arma. But before we go in there, you want to change out a couple things. You want to put the ricochet ability on your action bar and swap out rapid fire for bombardment. And then once you're ready, just pot up and head on in. And I will be using Soul Split and Anguish here, which are going to help a lot with killing Arma. So just attack Kriara as you would, and make sure you want to try to get um, all the AVNCs as close around you as you can. It's kind of difficult to do because the range and the mage ones um, sometimes are difficult to get around you, but that's just so the ricochet and the bombardment abilities will um, hit more targets and they will heal a lot more with your Soul Split. So I'm getting wrecked pretty badly this kill, but uh, it just started out badly. So it doesn't take too long to kill Arma, and she does give a lot of XP per kill. So I believe it's about 250k range XP per hour, which is not bad at all if you're using the quick hop method, which I'll explain why we do that. Um, there's two reasons why you want to do the quick hop method. For one, it's slightly faster kills per hour because you don't have to wait for the spawn. Um, but for two, I use this ability called Guttix's Blessing to heal me after each kill. Um, it heals about half of your health, and you have to complete the World Wakes quest to have it. Um, but I imagine a lot of people probably have that ability. So as long as you have the Guthix's Blessing, it will heal um, about half your health for the cost of a whole Adrenaline Bar because it is an ultimate ability. But that's not too hard to get as long as you um, kill all the minions and everything and don't waste thresholds on the minions. So you will have a full Adrenaline Bar after the complete kill is done. And then you use the Guthix's Blessing. And normally the Guthix's Blessing takes like 5 minutes or so to recharge, maybe even longer. It takes a really, really long time to recharge it is an insanely uh, slow recharge time for an ability, but if you quick hop, it actually completely re resets the recharge time, and you can just use it immediately again, so you can use it after every single kill, um, and that's the main reason why I quick hop. So if, if you have a Yak, bank these super ranging potions because they're worth 9k each. Um, so they're very, very worth banking. That's the main reason why I bring Yak to bank those and like rune crossbows and black dehyde bodies because they're worth a little bit. So I did get owned a lot that kill. Normally you won't use four food in one kill. That's a bit of a rarity. Um, but with the mana ray drops that I got, it replaces the food that we lost. So anyway, we just quick hop to a friend's world and then start a new kill. Not this world, a different world. Alright, that's another kill down, and I only used one food that trip, and that kill. And considering the minions do drop a lot of food themselves, and since you're using the Guthix's Blessing after every kill, if you quick hop, you can pretty much last here for as long as your prayer lasts. Um, so if you bring the Penance Aura and like a lot of Super Restore Flasks, you will need some food, um, but you will get most of it back from the minion drops. But anyway, you can pretty much last here as long as you like. So anyway, that's going to be about it for this guide. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, so if you, have, if you have any questions about armor, you can always join my friend's chat and game, which is Monk Lazunky. And uh, I'm sure someone in there will be very happy to help you if I'm not online. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me. And I'm going to just continue doing this armadillo task and hopefully get some drops. So yeah, farewell guys.